words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to day 139, and today we're going to talk about reflection is a key. Uh, one of the keys uh, to not speaking evil is reflecting. And when we say reflecting, um, we're talking about reflecting upon our life, reflecting very deeply, which is the, basically the, the, the definition, you reflect upon your life. But what I want us to do is I want to take a little different angle of this. If you look at the word reflection, it also means to throw back without absorbing. Um, or to give back. Let me give you an example. Um, you take light that hits a mirror. What is the mirror doing? It is giving the light back. It is throwing it back. It is... It is not absorbing the light. It is throwing it back out. Okay. Reflection is something that we do that we, before we absorb who we really may have been that day, we reflect and, and ponder could I have done this different? Um. When a person reflects, a person that reflects is a very wise person because what they're doing, they are looking at their life and saying, okay, I don't like this about me. I'm throwing that back. I'm going to do different tomorrow. I don't like this about me. I am not absorbing this. I'm going to change. People that don't reflect absorb. They never change. They never get better. They never throw anything back. They just take whatever it is they did and they absorb it and that's what they become. A person of reflection, however, thinks about their life and throws things back. That They've not settled, this is who I'm going to be. Have they made mistakes? Absolutely. Will they make mistakes? Absolutely. But they don't absorb that thing and say, I'm going to stay in this mistake. They, they throw it back and say, tomorrow's another day. I don't like this. I'm going to apologize. I'm going to do this. And this is the thing about reflection. If we reflect, we can think more about the things that we've said wrong. I probably shouldn't have said that today. I need to apologize. What could I do better? What should I do not to be in this position again? This is why I say reflection is a key because without reflecting, we don't realize how to avoid, how to stop, and how to change. Or to how to empower, how to be better. And, 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 and in the process, a person that, that reflects actually grows and learns, changes. You could have two people just alike in the same room. Grew up together. Um, same opportunities. Whatever. The one that reflects the most upon his life will change and eventually they become separated. Um, You've heard people say, well, we just grew apart. Well, it's not that you grew apart, but one reflected and one didn't. One absorbed all their stuff while the other reflected and, and threw back stuff and said, I'm changing who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not um, 
going to be the person of unforgiveness. I'm not going to be the person of of bitterness and strife. I'm not going to be the person that speaks evil. I'm going to change these ways. And the person who doesn't reflect, who thinks they know it all, who thinks they've got it all under control and there's no need of reflection, who thinks they've got it all together, the, this person just absorbs all his issues and all these things and never lets go of anything and they just... That's what happens. Reflection is key to change. And it's also key to guarding our mouth. If people would reflect more, they would understand, okay, this is how can I can avoid that situation tomorrow if it happens. This is how I can change this way of living, so on and so forth. So take some time and reflect today. Throw some, throw some stuff back. <laughs> Be like a mirror. Throw that, throw that reflection back. Just throw it away. Uh, there's no sense keeping a lot of stuff. Because the goal is to grow, to change. And to be more like God, the Creator. To be more like Christ. Okay? Hey, until next time, we will see you on the Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. Have a good one.